while many of us may have one or two car garage to fit our vehicles, there are some people that have garages that are a step above the rest. And be it amazing features or incredible cars, there are some that are just a little more luxurious than others. Here are the top 15 most insane luxury garages. Quite as star-studded as the Sultan of Brunei's, the ruler of a small country located in Southeast Asia, his collection consists of 7,000 luxury cars, which are all housed in a garage that looks a lot like a palace. Reportedly, there are over 450 Ferraris, 570 Mercedes-Benzes, 380 Bentleys, 200 BMWs, 175 Jaguars, 130 Koenigseggs, and 500 Rolls Royces within the garage. And in total, their value comes in at an estimated $5 billion. Due to the sheer quantity of cars in the garage, the Sultan has achieved several car-related records, with his title having the largest private fleet of Rolls Royces being one of the most impressive. When you further consider that the collection even has multiples of extremely rare cars such as the Ferrari F40 and McLaren F1, it's not hard to be impressed. Number 14. Khalid Abdul Rahim's Collection if you want to see one of the best car collections in the world, then you'll have to make your way over to the oil-rich Middle Eastern country of Bahrain. That's because it's home to business magnate Khalid Abdul Rahim's collection of luxury cars. In particular, it's home to many rare Ferraris, with these including an F40, F50, and 288 GTO. And this is accompanied by several other impressive cars, such as a Porsche 918 Spyder, a Porsche 911 GT1, a McLaren P1, a McLaren F1, and a Hennessy Venom. So, we think it's fair to say that few collections are quite as expansive as Khalid's. Number 13. Kang Lingenfelter's Garage If you're a fan of Corvettes, then chances are you'll love Ken Lingenfelter's Garage. Filled to the brim with over a hundred cars, Corvettes make up the majority of his collection. And while he has plenty of classic Corvettes from decades past, his favorite is his 2019 ZR1 which comes in at a ridiculously high 755 horsepower. Outside of Corvettes, he also has many other cool American cars, with one of the most impressive being a 1970 Oldsmobile Toronado GT that's extremely difficult to come by. We think it's fair to say that Kent's collection is hard to beat. Number 12. The Garage Next to Harrods at first glance, the garage next to Harrods may look pretty mundane. After all, it's made of bricks, has a black door, and only measures at 6.4 meters wide and 4.75 meters deep. Yet despite not seeming so luxurious, it is in fact one of the most expensive parking spots in the world, as it comes in at a cost of $850,000. Why, you may ask? Well, it turns out that it's located in one of London's most prime locations, as it's on Risebrack Street near Harrods in Knightsbridge. Therefore, for the ultra-rich who want to be able to go to Harrods at the drop of a dime, it doesn't get any better than this. Number 11. Craig Jackson's Garage While Craig Jackson may not be a household name, we think his garage certainly deserves a bit of recognition. Craig is the CEO of Barrett Jackson Auction Company, which is quite fitting due to the fact that the company sells thousands of luxury cars every year. Now, the garage itself is split into two parts. The first, known as the Rotunda, is designed to look like the wheel of a 1967 Shelby. It has an extremely clean look and a touchscreen that has all the info surrounding each car at the ready and a turntable in the middle in order to display the cars. The second level of the garage is known as the Man Cave, which is filled with Barrett Jackson memorabilia, vintage posters, and some of Craig's favorite cars. And there's a personal shop located close by that allows Craig to work on the cars whenever he pleases. In terms of the collection itself, the majority of it consists of rare muscle cars, with his old Shelbys being some of his favorites. Regardless, we think it's fair to say that this garage is truly elite. Number 10. Jerry Seinfeld Few comedians are as good as getting laughs as Jerry Seinfeld, yet while he may be known for being a comedian, his garage is even more impressive than his entertainment skills. Located in Manhattan, Seinfeld keeps his cars in an underground garage, which is necessary due to the extreme lack of parking in the city. Reportedly, a few blocks away from his penthouse on Central Park West, he had the three-story subterranean compound constructed in 2001. And according to architectural diagrams, it features four separate garage spaces, an elevator, a man cave with a pool table, a kitchenette and a bathroom, and a large office. It's within this luxury compound that Jerry houses a grand total of 46 Porsches. 
with these including an ultra rare 959, a 1955 550 Spider that's identical to the one James Dean drove on the night of his death, and the first 911 ever produced. In order to keep these cars in tip-top shape, he manages the temperature in the garage with a high-tech HVAC unit on the roof, and he reportedly has a video link on his smartphone that can display a real-time feed of the interior and exterior of the complex at a moment's notice. It is fair to say that Jerry Seinfeld knows his stuff when it comes to creating and running the ultimate garage. Number 9. Tom Gonzalez While there are plenty of cool underground car garages, none are quite as high-tech as Tom Gonzalez's. Located in Lake Tahoe, Nevada, his $50 million home has a $6 million garage that is truly out of this world. Housing a total of 30 cars and dozens of motorcycles, the compound is, according to Gonzalez, completely impervious to any kinds of natural disasters we can think of. However, what makes it truly incredible is that it has a hydraulic elevator. Measuring in at 3.7 meters long and 18.3 meters wide, it's capable of lifting two tractors and an RV bus all at the same time which it does using a massive hydraulic ram and massive reservoir. This allows anyone driving to simply drive under the elevator and then descend below, giving the whole thing a real Iron Man-like feel. It's also made so that it blends in with its surroundings, as it features a fake boulder and pine tree on top, which disguise it when at ground level. And in terms of money, it costs a princely sum of 25 bucks in electricity to make a one-way trip. Yet given how cool it is, we're sure that to many, it's worth the money. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. John Travolta's Garage While John Travolta may best be known for his rolling grease, it turns out that he can also grease his brakes with his great cars and airplanes. That's because he has a garage that not only fits 16 cars, but also has an airplane that sticks out his front door. Travolta has reportedly been an aviation fanatic ever since he was five years old, and now that he's a big-time actor, he's really brought this love to fruition. Since 2002, he has been a Qantas Airlines ambassador at large, and as part of this role, he keeps a Qantas Boeing 707 in the yard in his Florida home. He reportedly maintains a sizable group of support staff to help him fly at a moment's notice, and due to the 2.3-kilometer runway that jets from his garage door, he can launch and land his plane with ease. Interestingly enough, this aviation theme even continues into the house, where he has his walls filled with murals of different aircraft. So we think it's fair to say that John Travolta's garage is truly elite. Number 7. The Emirates National Auto Museum Put simply, Hamad bin Hamdan Al Nayyan may just be one of the flashiest billionaires on the planet. That's because this member of the UAE's royal family is the proud owner of a museum built in a custom-made pyramid that houses his car collection. Located in the middle of the desert, about 45 kilometers south of Abu Dhabi, it's where Sheikh Hamad houses around 200 cars, with these including a slew of off-road vehicles and classic American cars, the Sheikh's Mercedes Rainbow Collection, and the world's largest truck. He even has a couple of mobile homes, with this most notably being one shaped like a massive globe, and another that not only closely resembles Jabba's flying palace in Return of the Jedi, but is also the largest mobile home on two wheels in the entire world. Due to the quality of his collection, some of the cars in the showroom have even featured on the BBC television program Top Gear, while others have gone viral across the internet. Therefore, when you consider that it only costs about 14 bucks to enter, we'd say going here is worth the price. Number 6. Francis Wisniewski's Garage While Chicago may be best known for its deep dish pizzas, interesting architecture, and status as the Windy City, we think that Francis Wisniewski's incredible garage should be tacked onto that list. That's because this 15,000 square foot garage in downtown Chicago is reportedly the seventh most expensive in the world and contains a cabal of mostly American cars that are nothing short of incredible. Now, as a native to Las Vegas, Wineski added a lot of personal touches that make him feel right at home, these including a large Welcome to Fabulous Las Vegas sign, and an avenue lined with glossy red pillars, a small basketball court, and unsurprisingly, a gambling room complete with a full-size craps table and a collection of sports memorabilia. However, in order to fit both his cars and these extra features, he had to be economical with his space, and as a result, he had most of the cars lined on the sides, with many going on lifts that cost 5,000 bucks a piece. Yet while this garage may seem incredible, it may be a bit different today than it was in the past. That's because in 2019, Frank sold the garage to Groupon co-founder Brad Kiwa for a sum of $5.2 million. 
Yet until the cameras are let in, we won't know for sure whether or not Brad decided to change the place up. Number five, Miles Nadal's Dare to Dream Garage. While Miles Nadal may not be a household name, he's one of Toronto's most well-known philanthropists and car enthusiasts. You see, Miles was the founder of MDC Holdings, which is a massive marketing, advertising, and holding company that has turned over billions in revenue. And it was with these funds that in hand, he created the Dare to Dream Garage. Acting as the headquarters of Peerage Capital, it represents all of the most important marquees, including Bugatti, Ferrari, Porsche, Lamborghini, and Mercedes-Benz. Of all these, his favorite, which is a 1956 Thunderbird, is probably a little surprising. After all, it's not exactly the flashiest car of the bunch, and it certainly is not the most expensive. However, according to Nadal, he got it because while his dad never owned a car, it was always his favorite. So being able to own one was a really special experience. Yet beyond the cars themselves, the garage has a number of other interesting features to make it truly elite. For example, in order to keep its pristine white floors from being scuffed up, there are two machines that can either slip white boots over your shoes or melt a plastic sheet around your soles, based on your preference. There's also a 1 8 scale model of Ralph Lauren's car collection, as he views Lauren as someone who inspired him to elevate his collection to the next level. To top this off, he even has personal touches such as a 007 spy suitcase complete with a decoder kit, pistol, and silencer, as he credits both Bond and his Aston Martin DB5 for getting him into cars when he was just 8 years old. So we think it's fair to say that the Dare to Dream garage is the dream of many a car collector. Number 4. Jay Leno's Big Dog Garage While Jay Leno may have been good at making people laugh on The Tonight Show, he's also good at making them pretty impressed. That's because Jay's the owner of his Big Dog Garage, which is a massive garage that's filled with luxury cars. Located near Burbank, California, the facility spans over several aircraft hangars, with all of this space being necessary to fit the garage's 181 cars and 160 motorcycles. Now, one of his favorite cars in the garage is his 1972 Mercedes-Benz 600 Compressor. Reportedly, the first Mercedes made without regard for cost, the car was engineered so that almost every system is silent. More expensive than a Rolls-Royce during its day, it had a top speed of about 210 kilometers per hour and has everything controlled via hydraulic power rather than electricity, making it extremely difficult to make and restore. Everything about the car is bespoke, as it has hand-laid wood, a refrigerator, and a thermos, making it a true beauty. However, while the compressor is certainly a cool car, Leno's McLaren F1 Redo is his most expensive. Coming in at about 10 million bucks, it's almost made completely of carbon fiber, has doors that go up like wings, and has every single part sourced from McLaren. That's not to mention the fact that its specs are spectacular, as it can reach 240 kilometers per hour in 12.8 seconds and generate 618 horsepower with an RPM of 7,400. Thus, it shouldn't come as a surprise that both Jay Leno's fame and garage led him to getting a TV and web show called Jay Leno's Garage. It's had five seasons so far, and it's still running today, with a total of 68 episodes being available to your viewing pleasure. So we'd recommend tuning into the show if you'd like to see some of the coolest cars around. Number 3. The Homes by Jojo Garage While most of the garages on this list were made by men, this incredible example was actually made by a woman named Johanna Pietras, who is better known as Jojo. She's the owner and operator of Homes by Jojo, which is a full-service building company that creates everything from quaint cottages to commercial gyms. And in our opinion, the interior of this garage is truly a testament to her firm's skills. Located in Hamilton, Ontario, the outside is pretty unassuming, as it simply looks like a large, albeit particularly nice, warehouse. However, once inside, you are greeted with a building that is nothing short of spectacular. Upon entering the foyer, you are soon met with washrooms, which use exotic metals, crazy mosaics, and high-tech fixtures. This theme continues throughout the building's rooms, which feature sports memorabilia hung with invisible shelving, a wave pattern on the walls akin to that of sand dunes, and luxury finishes such as Lamborghini couches imported from Italy, a custom sit-in humidor boasting an exotic collection of over 3,000 fine cigars, and a few retro cars that are as luxurious as it gets. Then, after going up a black spiral staircase, you finally reach the garage itself. Filled with about 50 different cars, there's everything from Ferraris to Porsches to Maseratis, and along with the row of choppers on display, it comes in at a price tag of about 15 million bucks. This is not to mention that all the garage itself also has several nice finishes, which 
which include an angled ceiling that took about 1,000 man hours to produce, a bar with 15 Lamborghini bar stools, a red piano that can play more than 3,000 tracks on its own. In total, these finishes cost over $4 million, making this garage one of the most expensive man caves on Earth. So we think it's fair to say that few garages are quite as luxurious as JoJo's. Number two, Ralph Lauren's car collection. When you think of Ralph Lauren, chances are that his high-class clothes and colognes are the first thing that come to mind. However, it turns out that he has a car collection that is one of the most expensive on the planet. Now, his $300 million car collection is housed in a $100 million garage fitted with blow-ups of magazine covers, an administrative suite, scale models, an archive and workshop, and the 43 cars he owns. And while spending $300 million on 43 cars may sound crazy, it turns out that he bought most of them for far less. That's because he made most of his purchases in the 70s and 80s, which was well before the classic car buying craze really hit its stride. As a result, he has some insane returns on investment, with one of the most outstanding being the purchase of his 1964 Ferrari 250 GTO, which despite costing him $300,000 when he bought it in the 80s, is now worth about 70 million. Interestingly enough, he only buys from very specific brands and thus leaves a lot of luxury brands out of his collection. For example, despite the fact that he owns 11 Ferraris, 5 Jaguars, and 5 Bugattis, he doesn't own a single Rolls-Royce or Maserati, setting him apart from many high-flying collectors. Of all the cars in his collection, his 1930 Mercedes-Benz SSK is one of the most impressive. Known as the Count Trossi, it was designed by Ferdinand Porsche himself and runs on top of a supercharged straight-six engine that pumps out 300 horsepower and has a top speed of almost 200 kilometers an hour which is absolutely insane for a car from the 1920s. Again, interestingly, only 40 of these were ever made, and only five exist to this day, making it one of the rarest cars in the world. Thus, when you put alongside some of his other cars, which include a 1960 Ferrari 250 GT SWB Berlinetta Scaglietti and a 1937 Bugatti Type 57 SC Atlantic Drophead Coupe, it's not hard to see why this collection is one of the most prized on the planet. Number 1. Steve Plunkett's Fleetwood Auto Salon While most car enthusiasts like to mix and match golden oldies with modern-day speedsters, Steve Plunkett is a little different. Hailing from London, Ontario, Plunkett is known for his penchant for old Cadillacs, and with 86 cars in his collection, he's one of the most prolific Cadillac collectors in the world. Now, in all fairness, he has a few Buicks, Oldsmobiles, and GMCs thrown in for good measure, but of all the garages he keeps them in, the Fleetwood Auto Salon is the most special of the bunch. That's because this garage in particular is reserved for his 1930s and 1940s Cadillacs, and given its design, it's not hard to see why. You see, Plunkett modeled his garage after the ornate Waldorf Astoria Ballroom in New York, as it was here that Cadillac would unveil its newest cars and glitzy reveals throughout the 1930s. He achieved this look with several unique touches, with these including Persian rugs, fancy chandeliers, and an intricate ceiling in order to match the Art Deco style of the time period. Of all the cars there, his 1934 Cadillac convertible coupe is one of the most spectacular. Coming in at about 5.8 meters in length, at the time of its release, it was one of the longest cars in the world, and despite being built during the depths of the Great Depression, it was still equipped with a gas-guzzling 7.4-liter V16 engine that resulted in an impressive output of 140 horsepower. This car is complemented by an equally impressive 1949 Cadillac Coupe de Ville prototype, which was custom-built to impress audiences at GM's Transport Unlimited show in 1949 and was viewed by over 600,000 spectators during its time on tour. So when you further consider that Plunkett has many other cars on his roster, it becomes clear that his garage truly houses one of the most spectacular vintage collections out there. Watch our Vehicles playlist for more Top 15 videos about amazing vehicles. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best vehicle videos.